Can you see this? Look at all these alligator heads. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Holy crud. It makes you wonder, what was Florida like 300 years ago? You know, what was this place like? You know, just teeming with life. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm hanging out here. I got my sister and I've got Tanner Serpa, uh, the Serpa squad and Nate, but I'm giving these guys a little bit of a uh, adventure here today. We're driving around in the truck and we're just looking at all the beautiful wildlife that we have here in Florida. And uh, I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. We're having a good time, man. Tanner, are you stoked or what? Yeah, is this man, fun? this is sick. This is the second time I've been down here and this is, compared to where I come from, this is the jungle. Yeah. And it's not, I mean, it's not the jungle, but. It's pretty cool. <laughs> but uh, check it out, man. We've got a female gator here. And how funny that we could get this close. We're just trying to cruising around. But this is a great opportunity to kind of show people what a gator hole is. So right now we're in the dry season and gators are an apex predator and they're also a species that kind of uh, manages, that's what apex predators do, they manage the ecosystem. So what you're looking at here is a gator hole. So the water is dried up all around. Usually this is all flooded prairie. And this, this is where the water is collected. And the gator, who's sunning herself right now, will just scoop out the vegetation and keep this clear. And they provide a really important function for all the other animals that rely on water. What's happening now is other animals will come to this hole. There are fish in here. There are turtles will be in here deer will come to this hogs and so she provides habitat and she gets to eat so in the dry season it's actually cool it's actually better for alligators because food comes to them whereas in the wet season everything gets spread out so it's really cool that we're able to see this but that's a good sized female um that's about as big as a gal's gonna get um and you know i don't know a hundred percent that it's a female I'm not going to go down there and stick my finger up its cloaca, but I'm just guesstimating just by the size. Uh, we know that it's mature because it's a fully black animal. Um, you know, it's reached sexual maturity. They lose their yellow. Uh, but that's a real, I mean, we are just hanging out uh, right next to an alligator and she's breathing. You can see her, but she's not under any threat. If I were to get closer, she'd hiss and get in the hole. But I don't want to do that. I want to just show you guys what's going on and how cool that we have gators now at Camp Kennan. I just want to keep coming out here and doing this kind of work um, because it gives me an idea like, you know, with the gators we got with Snaggletooth and Dale, I'm allowing their water to kind of lower because these are uh, all part of the seasonal changes that these animals go into. It would be really cool if the, the gators in the backyard bred. They never bred at Fred's house. So I want to try and mimic nature as much as possible. And I want them to use all of their behaviors by, by scooping out the dirt and kind of digging down to the water. So what we've seen here is the perfect example of a gator hole. Nate, man, are you stoked or what, dude? I love it. Yeah, this is fun, right? It's, so It's awesome. Yeah, he's from up near Pittsburgh, and I don't know, how, how often have you been down to Florida? This is actually my first time in oh, Florida. Oh, killer, so dude. So it's like, this is all mind-boggling, just yeah. like, there's different animals here. <laughs> yeah, there are different animals here, man. You guys have bear up there and they'll run after you. We got bear down here as well. Who knows what else we'll see. But um, yeah, I just wanted to start this adventure off with a really cool uh, lesson on gator holes. And Tanner, you're the guy. Tanner's got the alligator today, dude. You're seeing all the gay, uh, the, the gay, not the gay alligators, but alligator. He's seeing all the alligators. Uh, but yeah, that's cool, huh? You stoked or what? Yeah, yeah, this is probably the I would you say like tenth one I've yes found. yeah I just I was like you know what I better start making a video so we can show all you guys and you can be on this adventure with us we're in an area called Corbett Wildlife Management Area and uh, it is real isolated we are about 11 miles into this it's actually a hunting ground it's 40,000 acres of what you see around us 40,000 acres so there's flooded prairie there's a cypress swamp and we're gonna see a lot of it as we do this little adventure and we're gonna see more gators I'm actually heading out to some of the bigger canals where the bigger gators are. So pretty, hey, Diane, where are you going over there? <laughs> she gets a little excited. She's jumping alligators. She's having a good time. 
I love I love sharing this with my sister because growing up, we grew up together. I, I actually have four sisters and two brothers, but my sister Diane, my sister Colleen, and sister Elizabeth are really into animals. They're actually pretty darn good horseback riders. They did shows and they jumped and did all that. And uh, it's cool to see my sister get so excited and that I'm able to bring her on these adventures. Look at her, look at her, she's there had she that smile. Yeah, she wants to see more. She's been having so much fun. So we'll show you guys this gator one more time and um, we'll bring you along on our little uh, field trip out into the wildlife management area. 40,000 acres of uh, state game lands. It's actually a hunting ground, but they don't hunt alligators here. So the gators are pretty plentiful and they're pretty happy. Stoked. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next stop. All right, so there's a, we're gonna come up to an area where there's a bit of a canal and it's, it's gonna be dry. Usually there's some animals in it, so let's see. I've never really done a full video showing off um, this part of the world that I get to play in, so. Hopefully it's as adventurous as it was with that alligator a little while ago. All right, this is where it is up here. Look at Nate. He's pretty excited. I just got, got hit in the face. Yeah. I was gonna say, watch, <laughs> watch your face. All right, guys. We're gonna get out right here. There's a gator. There's a gator. Oh, we saw the babies here. Yes, remember? That's right. We did see the babies here. There's a big gator, guys. Oh, it's, I, I don't, it never gets old seeing alligators. Look at this. Oh, wow. Right in. Yeah, this is where we saw the babies. So this hole always has a gator in it. And again, the water is collecting in these areas so that's why the gators want to stay in the deeper water the bigger gators anyway i don't see any babies but she could stay down for a long time if she wanted but this is really good water it's tannin rich a lot of tannins from all the plants and stuff uh but she probably went real deep and if you wait a little while you might see her head pop up so they don't really go far they get in the water and then they pop right back up just to see what's going on so really really awesome and the last time tanner and i were here we did we saw some baby gators mm -hmm. so that's pretty cool but let's have a little look around and i'm really not worried about her coming out and grabbing me because she's mostly worried about concealing herself but you can see that nice sunny area she was sunbathing so cool but again all the fish look at this nice canal yeah. what do you see oh let's see that's an invasive here yeah. Baby. It's a baby? Yeah, right See here. if you could pull it out. Oh, here, I can grab it. You got it? Show folks what's going on here. There you go. Look at that. Little Pleco. Oh, so Plecosimus. Yeah, he smells pretty bad. But that's a um, South American fish that has actually made its way here through the pet trade. And there are a lot of them in the waterways all throughout Florida. So. The problem because they're bulletproof. Yeah. They're armored, huh? Yeah. Nothing, nothing messes with them. They just, wow. they do their thing. Cool. All right, should we keep moving? Or let's take a look on the other side. Maybe there's something on the other side over here. There's two sides to every story, people. It's fun, man. Uh, so we've seen quite a lot of gators. And you see right here is where the gator will cross back and forth. Tracks from them? Yes, that, that's gator tracks. See this guys, look, here's the tail drag. Okay, and actually, quite a few. Yeah, quite a few. So they're going back and forth to the watering holes. Let's see. Nothing, huh? Not well, good. I'm sure there's a lot. We just don't see it. They're watching us. Cool. Shout out to my friends at Tacoma Beast and CBI for giving me the ultimate safari vehicle. This thing gets me everywhere I want to go back here. So I'm really excited. I love getting to use my truck. All right. All right, let's get back at it. So I was mentioning to you guys that there are different kinds of habitat and we're in a cypress swamp right now. So I wanted to show you some really cool cypress, but Nate being the young, young and dumb wants to, wants to walk across these dead pine trees. Let's go. Let's see what Nate does. Hold on, Nate. I got to get this for the video here, buddy. All right, let's see. This is the fun you can have out in nature, people. Look at look at him go. Is he gonna make it all the way? What do you guys think? Yeah, this one? Yeah, I'll get this 
You're not getting in my truck if you get dirty. Just kidding. We'll Shit. Put oh, you in the oh, truck. oh, oh, oh. We'll put you in the bed. Oh my gosh. Hey, there's gators in there. And <laughs> them gators in there that water. Don't do it. Come on, guy, really? He's going. You had to bring the kid. <laughs> He's got it. He's got it. Oh yes, Nate. That's that bike balance. Yeah, all the, all the manual. Yeah, all those manual wheelies, yeah. Very cool. So while he's made it all the way over there to no big deal, uh, if you look down here, you see how this is all torn up, guys? This is actually hogs. These are an invasive species here in Florida, and they root through here looking for grubs and such. Uh, and if you notice, it's right by the water. So what happens is gators will get these guys. So just pretty crazy, but again, really beautiful uh, cypress. These are bald cypress. They don't have leaves on them yet. They'll have leaves on them in about another, uh, he's gonna jump. Yo, good move. Right on. All right, now you're going that one. This is so exciting. What do you guys think of Nate's skills? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Very cool, man. All right, dude, good job, this one. good job. That nice. one's easy, that one's Ah, it's no big deal. But we learned a little bit about cypress swamps and hogs invading good old Florida. That's gonna break. Careful, Tana. All right, off to the next micro, oop, next ecosystem here. Oh my God. All right, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, there's a huge gator. I'm gonna get it back up on here. And right across the bank, you are gonna see a monster alligator. Oh man, he's up in the, uh... oh, I hear them all. You can hear them all. But right up on the bank there, guys, there's a big gator in there. Holy smokes. Yeah, that's big. And then I just heard a, I heard a bunch more of them moving. Ew, 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 ew. See him up there? He's big. That's a big boy. Hell yeah. Yeah, this canal never disappoints, man. Stoked. And then look at this, guys. All the way out there. Just tons of wildlife everywhere. We're almost to the edge. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes, guys. Look at him go. Wow. Woo! Holy smokes. Wow. That's a heck of a ripple. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is so much fun. How many of you guys would like to come on a tour like this to see gators out here in the wild? Let me know in the comments below, man. This is awesome. All right. We're gonna let Nate get back in. I should probably not start driving, but uh, <laughs> all right, let's do it. But you can see what we're driving through. I mean, this is just a very small access road, little trail. And this canal has always been teeming with alligators. Um, and I knew when I got this truck, I needed a truck that was able to get through here. So let's have a look. There's more, there's more at the end. I don't know if you guys can see down. If you look, there's a gator in the water. There's so many of them right now. Wow, it's really amazing. But they're smart. These guys are really smart because when they hear a vehicle, they just get right in the water. And that's why they got so big. They weren't waiting around to find out what people were up to. So we should see another one right out here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, oh look at them God, all. Look at all these deep. gators in the water. Holy. How much to God. swim across, Nate? <laughs> Here's a little one up on the bank, I think. Good stuff. Pretty fun, man. We're not out of the woods yet. I just have to show you guys. Oh, look, there's a gator there, right? But I have to show you how many heads are in this canal. Guys, can you see this? Look at all these alligator heads. That is amazing. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Holy crud. And I told you, because it's the dry season, Tanner, all the gators are collected into the deeper holes and the yeah, deeper canals. Yeah. So this is actually the best time of year to actually see alligators is when it's the dry season because they're concentrated. Yeah, we didn't see this many. No, I think yeah. you came in June and the wa the water was already up. Yeah. Uh, but all the all the bubbles you see right here, folks, these are all fish. These are all fish. So all their food is right there. So this is Florida, man. It makes you wonder what was Florida like 300 years ago. 
you know what was this place like you know just teeming with life subtropical paradise or hellscape depending on who you were uh, if you were guys like us and my sister you probably think it was awesome but yeah so now we're up against we're at the borders here up against a private um this is a private sugarcane field all right now these canals have tons of alligators in them as well and also these roads i ride these roads on my bike for miles and miles i can do like a 74 mile bike ride uh around these this perimeter but yeah these guys are everywhere so sometimes you could find moccasins in these in these um rocks it's really really cool would he come out if i like, toss a stick in or something you know no I mean? he won't come out like that what's up everybody uh we're back home we had a good day um didn't really find too much more other than a bunch of alligators but i figured i'd come back and just finish up showing you guys this enclosure i know you guys are probably as excited as i am to uh see a little bit more of them and i bet you his head's right over here um so i wanted to just finish up with an update uh these guys have been settling in nice there's the mail you could just make them up let's see if i could get them out because you can just make them out and the reason you could just make them out is because our water levels are dropping and it's much like what's happening out there in the wild i'm just allowing this pond oh he dumped down a little lower hmm. um i'm just a let there he is look at that face pointing right at us there's snaggy poo snaggletooth come back uh i'm just allowing the water levels to drop because i want these animals to really um to really have the exact feeling of what it's like to be in the wild uh we can we can control water in this enclosure i can dump water in through the pvc pipe here the female just was submerged under here but i want them to display a full range of their behaviors i want them to dig this out i want them to cohabitate in this area and i want them to create their own gator hole because it's what gators do so i i really love that we're able to finish this off you know that we can show you that we're mimicking nature here in the backyard i mean we are still in florida uh so i've got my own cypress swamp right here in the backyard with two beautiful alligators so that's how we're going to finish this exciting safari trip up it was awesome to have tanner out here there he is and i got a new friend in nate who's a bmx guy which is close near and dear to my own heart so stoked these guys came to visit even more stoked that we were able to see some wild alligators and get the truck dirty and we really had a good time so see you tanner later say goodbye to tanner and nate we'll see you guys later and say goodbye to snaggletooth later, later.